Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is a Makeup Bag Monday number 10. Makeup Bag Monday is a series every week on Mondays where I test out products for a full week, rediscover old favorites, forgotten favorites, forgotten hates, and purge from my collection as well as new products that I want to test out and really give you a good in-depth review after using it for a full week. I do a lot of Tester Tuesdays, which is first impressions, and I feel like this gives you a better understanding of the product after using it for a full seven days. And you guys seem to really enjoy this series, so I am continuing it. Make sure you come back each week to find out what I think about my weekly makeup bag rotation. Plus, I will also be doing the swatches for that week swatches of the products I review for that week. Does that make sense? Um, FYI, I am getting a haircut, so please ignore the mess that my hair is right now. Um, I just can't do anything with it, so I'm gonna go see a hairstylist and get it done. So let's find out what I thought about last week's makeup bag Monday. The first product is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Palette. I'm in the shade number two, and I use this for a week, and I really, really enjoy it. I think it's a really good all-in-one brow product. I'm gonna get three shades, so by mixing these two, I typically get my perfect shade. It gives me a little bit more options in terms of dimension. I feel like when I use just one shade of a brow product, it looks a little flat, a little fake, but if I mix the two shades, I get definitely more dimension. I like to use a darker color from the middle to the outer edge of my brows and then a lighter shade at the head of my brows. It's just how it naturally should look and by having the mix of product, I'm able to do that. This clear brow gel is what I use to set the brow powder and it kind of helps hold everything in. It helps set it and make sure it doesn't like rub off throughout the day. Now this isn't waterproof or water resistant by any means. So if you are really, really sweaty or in a very humid climate or very oily, I'm not sure how long wearing this product is. The wax definitely makes it last longer because of that, that like waxy consistency. Um, I'm not really sure what this beigey wax is for. If you guys know what that is for, please let me know. Maybe it's for like a base or if I need to cover any of like stray brow hairs, but I'm not really sure how to use it, so I did not use it. So that's kind of like an extra product that I didn't play with this week. I typically use my own brow brush and spoolie, but this is good to have for just the wax. I don't like to get my brow brush full of wax because I don't wash it every single day and it just starts building up and getting gross. So I like to keep this one in here for just the wax itself, but it's really nice to have in case you were traveling and you lost your brush or if you didn't have the brush on you. This is a decent size. It's long enough to work with. It's not like some of those really baby ones where you're like, I can't do it. Overall, a really nice product. I feel like it's very comparable to my Anastasia brow powder duo, except this one is a little bit more versatile so if you are a makeup artist or if you're starting out in the makeup field and you like to get two kits and that's it this would be it for you because you could get the one and you can get the two and that will give you a lot of options to do a variety of hair colors hair tones people in general so it also keeps your kit very very small and you won't have to carry like a giant book of brow products or a giant collection of brow products you can just use that oh this is what it says the back it says it's a highlight but I'm not really sure why I'd want this as a highlight because it's a wax so I don't really like the waxy highlight feel but it dries down to a powder I feel like I don't know that's what that's for let me know if you would use a waxy highlight though. I don't. I don't really need it, but the rest of it's good. So the mirror is also really nice too for like on the go if you're on the bus or something and you need to apply your brows. So I like it. It's a good product. The next product is a primer and it's from It Cosmetics. It's their Bye Bye Pores Primer. This, I have to say, is probably not the best primer if you have incredibly dry skin like I do. I'm a lot better from last week. If you watch last week's Makeup Bag Monday, I was like severely dry. But this week, I'm still dry, drier than I normally am, but not as dry. And I feel like this primer is for those of you guys who either have really enlarged pores and you like to diminish that, and very, very oily skin. And 
it's not a mattifying primer, but because it's oil free and it's so smoothing, it can be a little too much if you have flaking skin. If you have flaking skin, this can actually make it a little bit worse and dry it out. It's weird. But if you have combination oily and dry skin, I think this would be a really good primer. Like if you have my normal skin type, which is combo dry, you'll be fine because it helps diminish the pore areas, which would be for me on the cheek areas. And then it helps mattify your nose a little bit without being overly mattifying and drying. And then it also just smooths out your skin. But if you have flakiness, this is not something that's going to work well with your flaky skin. So I like it. I think a little goes a long way. I think a lot of people that don't like it might be using too much of the product. A full pump is too much. It's like a half pump for your whole entire face because if you use too much, you're going to start getting that like pilling of the product and it's going to like almost come off in little balls and you don't want that. So I made the mistake of using a full pump the first time and that was just too much product. If you use a little bit in the areas that you need it, for the pores and for any oily areas and smoothing out any texture that you don't like. And I'm not talking like major texture, I'm talking like I get a little bit rough around here, so I smooth that out. Just half a pump is enough for your whole entire face. Less is more, um, definitely more geared towards those of us with combination dry and oily skin, not geared for super, super, super dry. I do like the packaging too, because it comes in the tube and a pump, so it's very, very sanitary. I tested out a bunch of eyeshadows palettes this week. The first one is from Kevin Aquan and it's the Blood Rose palette. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I really, really love the quality of the eyeshadows and I actually really enjoy this palette. This palette's really pretty, a little bit different than my go-to every day, so it really did make me kind of create a different look. And I like creating this like plummy, smoky, daytime appropriate eye look that I'm wearing. It's really beautiful pigmentation, but very soft and silky too. So you're not going to have to blend too hard. It's very, very easy to use. It's so so silky that you can over blend if you're not careful and I feel like it's just a no fuss eyeshadow palette because the quality is so silky and smooth you don't have to overly blend you don't have to worry about over applying um, you can easily like fix any mistakes but it's still quite pigmented and substantial even though it's super super silky so you can see like I barely touch it you're gonna get a lot of pigment but you're gonna also be able to work with it really well the diamond eyeglass in moonlight that goes with this little fall kit blood roses is Fun and not. So this is not something I recommend for every single day because if you apply this over eyeshadow, it's going to make your eyeshadow not as long wearing, if that makes any sense. So it really deepens up the eyeshadow and offers that glossy look, which is really fun for photography and editorial shoots. What happens when you do this on an everyday basis is that your eyeshadow is going to slip and slide all over your eyes especially if you like apply it past your crease it's just going to end up everywhere so i can see this being very effective like if i did my vita liberata photo shoot if you saw that they would definitely use this in fact they like sprayed me down with hairspray and water so that was one of those situations in an editorial photo shoot type of environment where this product is very very practical and very very necessary but for every single day if you wanted your eyeshadow to last and not move I just don't think it's practical do I want to keep this yes because I think it'd be very fun to use for a very dramatic smoky eye for that wet eye look for anything that I'm going for that's a little bit more rockerish, there's always a time and place for it. Just not for every day and not necessary for wanting my eyeshadow to last longer. You can definitely wear this alone, but you're not gonna wanna wear it with any eyeliner. You're not gonna wear it with any mascara unless you do like a waterproof mascara or false lashes because this will break down your mascara and eventually get it all over your face. So again, not practical, but fun to play with. The next eyeshadow palette I have is again from Kevin Aquan. This is the palette number two. This is 
part of the Space and K and Kevin Aquan exclusive for Making Eyes um, kit. Again, the quality and pigmentation is what you would expect from the Blood Roses palette, but I love the three neutral shades because it gives me this like ethereal look. And it was just a really fun palette to play with. Not something I would feel like is a go-to everyday palette because of how much of a like smoky look this really creates. But if you like that smoky look for everyday or for evening times, definitely a palette to pick up. It's really fun. Again, the quality is really, really nice. It's not like the... Um, kind of quality from like this palette, which I also tested out the makeup forever Art artist shadow palette in number four. It's not the same kind of quality. It, this one is like Dramatic super pigmented once it's on it's on and it's not going anywhere. This one is Really easy to blend really smooth and really easy to work with this one once it's like placed on your eye you better blend and you better blend a lot and very very fast this one like you can place and just like kind of make it work and not worry too much about it both i feel are very pigmented and very effective as eyeshadows and high quality but the makeup forever is something where if you are new to makeup this might be too difficult for you to work with and not because it's a bad eyeshadow because it's so good i feel like this is pure pigment whereas this one is a softer pigment so since I have this palette out I'll talk about this briefly um, I really love these I think the shadows are very comparable to the full-size makeup forever artist shadows which I love I think they're a little bit more of a practical size in these palettes and I love that they came out with a matte because I thought that that was what was missing in terms of makeup forever palettes I wish there was a deeper neutral like mocha brown or a reddish brown. I feel like this is very, very geared towards um, the pinks and the blacks. And they have had blacks in their other palettes before. So I was just hoping, and you know, the white is really great because it helps with mixing and doing different eye looks. But I wish like instead of a pink that they did a mid-tone warm Brown. That's my only thing about this palette. The quality of shadows is great. If you like these colors, then don't worry about it. You'll have plenty of things to work with. You would definitely love it if you're drawn to these colors. In terms of quality, in terms of pigmentation and wear time, you can't beat these. If the Kevin Aquan and Space and K exclusive Making Eyes kit came with the eye pencil, and this is in black. I don't really like it. I don't hate it. I just think it's a little bit um, hard. I'm using it to line my lash line. I feel like it, it's like tugging at my eyelid. It's not as creamy as I like my eyeliners to be, but when you swatch it, it's beautiful. It's super, super black. It's very, very pigmented, and it looks creamy when I swatch it on my hand. But the skin on my hand is a lot tougher than the skin on my eyelid. I actually tried to use the eyeliner. It tugs at my eyelid, and that's kind of like the one downside about it. And I don't know if I have to like maybe dull it out even more because it's looking gorgeous on my hand but I just feel like when I'm actually trying to use it as an eyeliner it tugs so that's my only kind of issue with it I probably have to warm it up more use it more but it's, it's, I've used it for a week and that's kind of my results with it it also comes with the precision brow pencil and I have to say it's pretty nice I feel like it's a little bit tough again like even when I'm doing it on my hand I have to really kind of dig at it to get the color I want and for me I just don't want to have to like pencil that hard on my eyebrow I prefer using the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpt instead. This is good if you really want to get the individuals and get it going and kind of like fill in any sparse areas first and then go in with this, but you can achieve the same look by just using the one brow kit 
versus having to use the pencil and that. But it depends how detailed you want to do your brows. How precise do you want your brow product to be? It's not a bad pencil. I think it's good. It has a spoolie at the end. It's a twist up so you don't ever have to have a pencil sharpener which is always beneficial. So that was everything from last week's Makeup Bag Monday. Now let's talk about the products I'm going to be testing out this coming week. The first thing I have is if you watched my recent Sephora haul with Ebates, I'm doing a $200 giveaway with Ebates to Sephora. So there will be two winners. Each winner will get their very own $100 gift card. Make sure you watch that video if you haven't already and enter the giveaway. I purchased this Marc Jacobs 240 about last night eyeshadow palette after seeing it from Madison. And I really want to play with this. I didn't get a chance to play with it yet just because I've been focusing on doing last week's Makeup Bag Monday. So I really want to try all these shadows out this week. This is a almost $100 palette. <laughs> so I really want to test this out this week and see if I could just use this palette and be happy with it because for $100, well it's just under $100, I really want it to be really good and the quality is beautiful it's very creamy very pigmented very smooth it's a hybrid between the makeup forever artist shadows and the Kevin Aquan shadows I feel like so it's a good like hybrid mix but the colors like are, oh, like this is so gorgeous and I'm barely touching it like I'm not going I'm not digging for the pigment Going along with eyeshadows, I'm going to be testing out these Laura Mercier Basics, and I have three shades. I have cotton, linen, and wheat. I am using this in my Tester Tuesday. I'm doing a full face of Laura Mercier tomorrow, so come back for Tester Tuesday, full face, one brand. And I really, really enjoyed using cotton, so I'm going to try out the other ones as well. And these are supposed to be an eyeshadow base to really keep all of your eyeshadows locked in place, as well as um, give get rid of some of the veininess and darkness that you might have on your eyes, or provide just a base color. Another Laura Mercier product I'll be playing with is this concealer. So far, so good. I've been liking it. This is the Secret Concealer for Under Eyes in 2.5. I wanted to play with this because I feel like I haven't really tested this out like really, really tested it out. It's in my Tester Tuesday for tomorrow, but I really wanna give it a good go for a full week and see if I like it because I wanted to find something for you guys that isn't as dry down as the Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape is really great. It's fully pigmented and it dries down and doesn't budge. But I think if you have a lot of fine lines under your eyes or if you're very dry, that can be a little bit too much for you guys and you might want something a little creamier so i'm i wanted to play with this because with creamier it tends to crease it tends to cake and it tends to move i wanted to look for something that was creamier for those of us who have more fine lines and dryness but it was still not going to move and not going to crease and not sink into the fine lines so i'm going to be playing with this for a full week to see what i think of it the final product I have for next week is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit, and it is so gorgeous this year. Every single shade in here is a new product exclusive to the Ambient Lighting Palette, or Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. So, I, first of all, ow, I just pinched my finger. <laughs> I love this packaging. It's marble, and not only is it marble, it's not like a shiny packaging, so my fingerprints don't stick on the packaging, which I appreciate. And then you've got five different powders to work with. You've got two blushes, you've got a bronzer, you've got a highlight, and then you've got an all-over powder. This all-over powder is absolutely stunning. It's not shimmery, it's not glittery, but it makes you look like you're glowing from within. I'll be playing with this palette for the next week and I will update you guys next week. So if you want to see swatches of any of the products that I did not swatch in this video, it's because I swatch the products as I review them and I show you guys different looks I create and how I apply the product in the review portion of next week's video. If you enjoy this series, please let me know in the comment section. I love hearing your thoughts. If this series has motivated you or inspired you to rotate your own makeup collection, I would love to know what you rediscovered recently by rotating your makeup collection. I know 
as beauty lovers out there, we just love to buy, 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 and then we kind of forget about longtime favorites or old favorites, or we bring out the old favorites and we try them again and we're like, what was I thinking? I know that has been a lot of my thought process through this whole 10 week journey. I'm like, what was I thinking? Why am I still keeping this? This is nowhere near as good. Or I'm like, why have I not used this? It is so good and I completely forgot about it. And it's also a great way for me to really test out the products that I do first impressions on. So please let me know in the comments what you've rediscovered, if you started rotating your makeup every week along with me. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All of my subscribers are qualified to enter any of my giveaways. I have a couple amazing ones going on right now. I have a new and beauty for October giveaway where I'm giving away a gigantic, gigantic, a gigantic bag of beauty goodies. I have a collab giveaway coming up with Madison Miller and I have a current giveaway in my recent haul at Sephora like I mentioned I'm giving away or Ebates is giving away two winners each will get hundred dollars to Sephora thanks to Ebates so check out all of those videos I upload new videos five days a week with a podcast going up every Friday. So Sunday through Thursday, you can find me here on YouTube with a new video. Fridays, you can find me here on YouTube as well. We're gonna be filming the podcast and uploading them to YouTube. But if you like to listen on your commute, you can download it on iTunes, Google Play, or directly from Lisbon. And all of that information, along with all of the products I talked about and the product links will be in the description box below. So click that down bar, check out everything. I hope to see you on my social media I love snapchat. That's like kind of my obsession right now and Instagram and I hope to see you guys back here tomorrow for a tester Tuesday Full face one brand Laura Mercier until next time I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night if you're watching to de-stress and relax Thank you so much for choosing my video And I really hope that my video was able to kind of take your mind off of whatever it is You needed to take your mind off of or even if you're falling asleep right now Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye